If you're using Unreal Engine or planning to learn it, stop scrolling. Unreal Engine 5.6 is finally here, and it's packed with features that can take your game, animation, or virtual production project to the next level. From smoother performance and better lighting, to powerful new animation tools and realistic digital humans. In this video, I'll walk you through everything new in UE 5.6, explained in a simple and clear way. So whether you're a beginner or a pro, let's dive in. Let's start with performance. Unreal Engine 5.6 can now handle massive open worlds at 60 FPS, even on PlayStation 5. That's a big deal. Games like The Witcher 4 are already using it, and the results look stunning. Plus, the Lumen lighting system? It's now twice as fast. That means real-time global lighting without killing performance. And yes, Nanite finally supports foliage. Trees, grass, plants, all with high detail and no slowdown. This is huge for environment artists. Next, MetaHuman just got a massive upgrade. You can now create realistic digital humans directly inside Unreal Engine. No need for a separate app. And the best part? You can animate faces in real time using just your webcam. Want to sell your characters? You can upload them to Epic's Fab Marketplace. Fast, flexible, and super powerful. Unreal 5.6 also gives you pro-level animation tools. Now we get motion matching for multiple characters. So group animations look more natural. There's also something called root motion movement. It helps characters move more accurately based on their animations. And with the Chaos Flesh system, Unreal can now simulate realistic skin and muscle movement. Perfect for animals and humans. It's small details like these that bring characters to life. For those working in film or virtual production, UE 5.6 has some great updates. Lumen now supports 120 Hz, which means smoother output on LED walls. The world partition system is better too, making it easier to handle large scenes. Plus, you'll notice a cleaner content browser and a faster viewport toolbar. These might seem small, but they really improve workflow when you're building big projects. Mobile developers, you're not left out. Unreal 5.6 improves Vulkan support on Android, which means fewer crashes and better performance. There's also experimental Nanite support for mobile, which could bring console-level graphics to phones soon. And APK packaging is now faster and produces smaller files, perfect for testing and releasing mobile games. All of these features aren't just theory, they're, they're already being used in real projects. CD Projekt Red showcased a playable scene from The Witcher 4 running entirely in UE 5.6. It uses Lumen, Nanite, MetaHumans, animation upgrades, everything we just talked about. It proves Unreal 5.6 is ready for big, real-world productions. Some features like full nanite foliage and advanced chaos physics are still in preview, but they're expected to be fully ready in Unreal Engine 5.7. That means now is the perfect time to start learning and experimenting with UE 5.6, especially if you want to stay ahead. And that's everything new in Unreal Engine 5.6. Which feature are you most excited to try? Let me know in the comments. Hit like if you learned something new, subscribe for more Unreal tutorials, and I'll see you in the next one.